Hey, it looks like our Worshipful Master YouTube has allowed me to post today. And before you guys say to use alternative platforms, those are controlled by the same people. So it's kind of like a trick to get certain influencers off YouTube thinking they have a chance. If you guys have been wondering why I haven't posted the past few days, you've been out of the loop, it's because YouTube has decided my burgers and fries day of eating video violates their guidelines. As usual, I posted Thursday at 11 a.m. and instantly at 11 a.m. the video was taken down. I couldn't figure out why it would have been taken down, so I just filed an appeal and later that night at 10.40 p.m. the video was reinstated because they confirmed the content does not violate the community guidelines. Now I was hoping that was going to be the end of it, but the next day at 10.30 a.m. That same video was taken down for violating the same policies. So after being up for about 12 hours overnight, they took the video down again for the exact same reason. So I filed another appeal, and at 10.53 p.m. the second night, the video was again reinstated, determining it does not violate the guidelines. This time, I made sure to delete the video as soon as it was reinstated so they couldn't take it down again. Now, my channel already has a warning for talking about some bills that were passed in New York State Congress last year. So whenever they take down a video now, I instantly get a strike. What that means is I can't post or comment for a week. No videos, no community page. They could technically do this to me every single day on every video I post for no reason and I can never post again. I couldn't actually tell you guys anything on Friday or Saturday and I was so disgusted I didn't bother on Sunday. And we all know why this is happening. You know, if it was the YouTube bot, I think the video would have been taken down before it was live. And there have been a few coincidences on my channel. Whenever I call out these rats for plagiarizing me, stealing my work to sell their agrochemical laden crap products, you know, the video gets suppressed, only a portion of the views I normally get, and the people don't suffer repercussions despite them blatantly taking advantage of my hard work and what I've spent the majority of my adult life doing. I made a video joking one of the Victoria's Secret models had football player shoulders because her skeletal structure was wider than three of me, and the next day I lost 5,000 subscribers. I mean, I don't think the joke was worth it, <laughs> and uh, YouTube didn't like that apparently. Then when I spoke about my parents getting injected, the video was taken down immediately and after I appealed it, they reinstated the video because all I did was read their own guidelines. So there's two possibilities in my head here. The more likely one being that I made the video on Wednesday talking about baby formula, mentioning there are evil people that don't want you to know this. I might have thrown the word YouTube in there. The other possibility is the burgers and fries cheat meal video. It was getting too many views per hours for my channel. Or I said some word in there that's really bad in the algorithm. So they had to put, I don't know, I really don't know. What doesn't make sense is some YouTube algorithm bot taking down the same video twice. You know, this seems like something a person would have to be involved with. Like they manually reinstated the video and then a second time. I mean, if it happened once, you could say that, but it didn't. And we know the people in power control all forms of communication. Anyone that gets popular on any social media platform and has continued growth has made a deal with the devil. What disgusts and discourages me is finding out that basically everything is fake. Every influencer, most businesses, on a larger scale, everything that most people believe, it's all fake. Everything on TV, and at this point, it's hard for me to want anything to do with it, even pretend that some of it's real. You know, these scumbags spend so much time pretending to be good, many illusions, whether it's pushing a vegan diet while they eat sushi, or a grain-fed carnivore diet while they feed their family grass-fed beef. And then when someone good comes along and points out their bullshit, they just close the curtains 
so they can continue to deceive and make money for themselves. I mean, what am I supposed to talk about at this point? I can still talk about climate change being fake, right? Because that's not illegal yet. Apparently, cooking burgers and french fries is not allowed. Maybe we should try it again this week. Is pointing out how the ingredients in baby formula shouldn't be fed to children a problem? What about the fact that authority figures blatantly promote these types of products? I guess I stepped on some fat, ugly toes, and it's very difficult to do that. If you're able to point out certain facts in a certain way, then you just get wiped off completely. And that happened with that Congress video I mentioned earlier. So uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, it's early Monday morning, and, and I got to get down to work. Uh, but you know, overall, I'm just I'm just so dis discouraged with everything. You know, I've basically spent every waking moment, you know, trying to help other people improve their nutrition, educate them. And, you know, I do have a, a great amount of supporters and people that have helped me, but, you know, you know, I don't know how much I can take anymore. I'm just completely over everything. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, share it. I guess sign up for the newsletter on frank Uh We have the 4th of July grilling pack available on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about that tomorrow, but if you want to get your order in time for 4th of July this weekend, definitely place an order today.